I don't know if I'm getting an instrument. I think it'll keep me playing at home more, learning how to play more notes better. Instruments are very expensive and not all the families can afford them. So I think it's beneficial to everyone. Having a small band program and then trying to expand and get more kids, definitely something that a lot of students worry about is how they'll, they'll get the instrument or trying to have down payments on an instrument. We're excited today for the announcement that we have today, uh, the donation of these fantastic instruments that will help all several schools, four of our schools, uh, even develop our musicians even further. We know how important uh, music is to the development of our children and music education, and we are working hard at DOS to develop our programs, and this will be um, a great announcement for DOS High School and the other three schools participating. So we're very excited about the announcement today. I'd like to introduce um, some of our guests who are joining us today uh, for this fantastic announcement. First are the Assistant Superintendent of Achievement Area 4, Amy Dennis. Uh, Daniel Gillum, Director of Radio for uh, Louisville Public Media. Kristen Fallsgraf, Manager of Engagement. Layla George, Director. Todd Lowe, President of the Board. Uh, if we could please welcome all these guests here to uh, Doss High School. A few others from JCPS that are uh, very instrumental in uh, our development of music. First of all, our district music specialist, Michelle Lewis. Thank you for joining us today. And also uh, the other three principals from the other three schools that are a, a, a part of this um, program. Michael Newman, principal of Western High School. Ken Moeller, principal of Phoenix School of Discovery. And Michael Terry from Jacob Elementary. Welcome to all of you. At this time, I would like to introduce once again Amy Dennis, who is representing Jefferson County Public Schools. We're here today to celebrate the gift of 44 new band and orchestra instruments to students at four district schools. The value of these instruments is over $17,000. That's a significant gift that will improve our students' skills, abilities, and opportunities. We are so excited. We're grateful to Louisville Public Media. In addition to these 44 new instruments, they've already placed 63 refurbished instruments into the hands of JCPS students. Some of the students who are receiving these instruments are here with us today. Students like Jasmine Gibson. Did you wave us over there? She is right back there. She's a sophomore at Western High School. She's here with her principal, Michael Newman. She's played clarinet for six years. I play clarinet too, so I feel really connected to her. She's going to graduate high school with college credits that she'll earn in the early college program. She's bright, she's driven, and now she's going to have a brand new clarinet. Education opens doors to new opportunities, and music is the sound of that opportunity. It has the power to connect people for a common purpose. It improves math skills, it improves communication, it can soothe a troubled mind. It opens doors. In my experience as a high school musician, I also made friendships that last to this day. So there are not only academic benefits, but social emotional ones as well. Louisville Public Media is a champion of classical and independent music for young children and older, like us, in this community. On behalf of all JCPS, we thank you for using your resources to champion our students. I'd like to thank the band you guys sounded fantastic doing the prelude as we came in. We appreciate it. And um, I'd like to turn your attention now to the DOS Orchestra who's going to entertain us.
thank you guys. We could listen to you all day. That was great. I'd like to invite a special guest forward who writes the soundtrack for our city. Please welcome Daniel Gilliam, Director of Radio for Louisville Public Media. Good morning, and thank you to Doss High School for being a host for this event. Thanks to our principal, Marty Polio, for inviting us today and for uh, being such a strong supporter of music in schools. Uh, my name is Daniel Gillum. I'm the, the Director of Radio for Louisville Public Media. I'd also like to acknowledge Sarah Zoltau, the manager of our education programs, who is instrumental in making today happen. Classical 90.5 WUOL is one of the three Louisville Public Media stations that started instrumental partners in 2003 with the goal of donating gently used instruments to local schools, one of the ways that we felt we could give back to our community. Since its inception, we have donated more than 600 instruments to schools, and this year we've donated 63 instruments so far, thanks to the continued support of our listener members and the support of PNC Wealth Management. Earlier this fall, Michelle Lewis, the music coordinator for Jefferson County Public Schools, came to me with a very good problem. We've got a lot of students enrolling in orchestra and band, but we don't have enough instruments to go around. Luckily for Ms. Lewis, I knew exactly how to help. So as a classical radio station, we have this really powerful tool called an antenna, an FM broadcast signal that reaches thousands of people each week. So what we did was we increased the frequency and we increased the urgency of our message for instrumental partners, both on the radio and online, and through our newsletters and through our social media channels. This urgent plea reached the ears of the Community Foundation. Through several conversations, we arrived at a plan where the Community Foundation would help us fill this immediate need and allow us to further expand the Instrumental Partners program. Today, thanks to the generous support of the Robert and Clarita Whitney Fund, we are donating 44 additional brand new instruments to Jefferson County Public Schools to fulfill this urgent need and allow everyone who wants to play an orchestra and band to do so. I'd also like to acknowledge William Thompson, head of the Robert and Clarita Whitney Fund, who is supporting us today with the uh, generous support uh, to provide these brand new instruments to Jefferson County Public Schools. Through this fund, we will also be increasing our marketing efforts for instrumental partners and begin expanding the program to benefit more schools in surrounding counties in Kentucky and southern Indiana. Robert Whitney, the visionary conductor of the Louisville Orchestra during the early 20th century, made it an essential part of the orchestra's mission to serve young people. And I'd like to think that Maestro Whitney, wherever he is, would be thrilled at how his name is being attached to the money that the Robert and Clarita Whitney Fund is allowing us to use today to provide these instruments to Jefferson County Public Schools. Thank you very much. Thanks, Daniel. Now I'd like to introduce you to Michelle Lewis. She is our district's music specialist and she supports music in all of our schools, elementary, middle, and high. Once upon a time, a very long time ago, she was a uh, school musician at Louisville Male High School. Michelle? Thank you guests that are here today. As a little girl, I began learning the love of music by listening to my granny play the piano. When I reached middle school, like many of you, I was given the opportunity to play an instrument. I was so excited to be part of the band and made the decision to play the clarinet. We have three clarinet players in the room, or more. I think like most students, I was fascinated by the keys, the shape, the feel, and the sound of the instrument. I was hooked. The gift that you have given today is one of opportunity. These instruments will be used by many students who want the same opportunity that I had as a student in JCPS long, long ago. And that opportunity is one to play in a, either an orchestra or a band class. The gift of owning an instrument is unique. When a student owns their own instrument, it becomes a special relationship. Some of friends that I had in high school, they named their instrument. And maybe some of you here today have a name for your instrument. They treat the instrument with respect. They love the instrument. They communicated with others through this odd shaped sound making device. The ability to communicate and collaborate through making music is an amazing experience that transfers to all areas of life. I'm grateful to all of our community partners who have made this opportunity available for our students today. Thank you so much. 
Thanks, Michelle. She's right about those special relationships. I used to wrap my clarinet up in a blanket to keep it warm when um, I was out in the cold. Really, I did. Um, <laughs> so today, we're sending these instruments to schools. There are folks here from all four of the schools that, that we're focusing on today, and they would love to speak to you, and they're all in the back row. Dr. Polio pointed them out to you, so they'd be glad to talk to any of you guys. We appreciate everybody being here today and for the support of our students. Thank you again.